Hey gang, this is Mike, and today we're going to be talking about the class, the collapse of the century, economic collapse news. And I, I just don't understand it, guys. We, we live in a, such a bubble fake system. I mean, we got fake money. We got people that act, they're millionaires because they're indebted up the gazoos. Okay. And we have the stock market that keeps going up when bankers are getting bailed out left and right. Again, bankers are getting bailed out in the repo market. Bank to bank runs have happened, and the Fed is bailing out stinky bankers at 120 billion, not million, a day. And it's been going on for weeks and weeks. But the stock market keeps going up. We are having situations where people are losing their jobs, businesses are closing down. We're having farmers that were bailing out thanks to tariffs we're having situations where the car manufacturers are decreasing we have situations where manufacturing is decreasing in america decreasing in america that's why china is becoming the powerhouse of what they're becoming because we don't produce anything in america anymore china produces everything and now we're mad at china because they produce our stuff which we didn't want to do we, they produce their stuff and now we're mad at them because they produce it for five bucks so we can buy it really cheap we have inflation going everywhere. The cost of school is getting higher and higher. The cost of healthcare is getting higher and higher. The cost of food is getting higher and higher. The cost of so many things is getting higher and higher. But if you look at the market, if you look at everyone, they have all their money into the stock market, into the 401s. We're having situations where we have so much debt at the federal level. We have so much debt at the state level that states are and cities are going bankrupt. Okay, like Flint, there's no water, there's shitty water, they don't even have the money to fix it. We're having situations where big corporations are the the corporations that are closest to the money printing, the money melt minting, okay, they get the free funny money, the fake loans with ultra low interest rate and they don't even make good products that's why ford is not making cars anymore that's why gmc is not making cars they're only going to be making trucks and i brought you guys that six seven months ago if not a year ago okay so we're in a situation where we have all these zombie companies that have stocks keeps going up and up they're not producing better stuff they're not producing better gadgets and what's really happening is corporations are getting the free money because they're very close to the bankers. They get the free money, 0% interest rate. And then what they do is they buy back their stocks because what that does is makes the CEOs and all the top management richer because as interest rates, I mean, as, as their stock prices go up, guess what? Their stockholders benefit to them. And at the same time, they're getting this money they're buying their stocks, they're getting higher pay, higher bonuses, and they're not creating good gadgets for their companies or being competitive, and they're incurring significant amount of debt, okay? Meanwhile, on the stock market, it looks really, really good. The stock market is going up and up and up. I mean, how fake is that, dude? Once again, the Fed is cutting rates. The Fed is cutting rates, and the stock market is going up and up. Right? It just doesn't even make sense. The banks, the Fed is bailing out banks and the stock market keeps going up and up. Okay. So the, the Fed prints money, the stock market goes up and up. Like the people that just don't even care, dude. This is not financial advice, but man, you got to be an idiot to have your money in the stock market today. I'm not telling you what to do. Now, this is not financial advice, but you got to be a fucking idiot. I mean, I don't know what to say, dude. Uh, to have money in 401s, to have money in the stock market because most of these corporations are not making it, right? These Most of these corporations are getting into debt just to pay their bills, just to pay employee pay, paychecks, guys. And guess what? But their stocks are going up and up. So forget about the Fed just cut the interest rate. But they say the market is healthy, dude. How is it healthy if we're going back to 0% interest rate? I'll tell you why. Because think about this, you know, the president, you know, he's just a debt-based billionaire, right? 
If he didn't have any debt, he wouldn't be a millionaire or a billionaire. And, and this is the society we live in, guys. The more debt you have, right, the more debt you have, the more they'll let you have, the more debt they give you. Because if you're smart, now, if you're buying with your debt Nike shoes, then of course not. But if you're buying, getting debt, buying assets, and the assets are going up in price like stock market, like real estate because of the Fed manipulation, stimulation, whatever you want to call it, artificial injection going up. So the middle class and the lower class, they keep working and saving. Okay. Now, the people that keep getting into debt and debt and the closer they are to the printing press, right, they're getting money for free. And now, of course, Trump wants to have negative interest rate. Of course, he wants for us to be like other countries in Europe. Why? You got to think about that. Well, he wants to rule out for me and you, the savers, for him to be able to get more debt. And now when he gets debt, instead of, he, for example, he borrows 100 bucks with negative interest rate, the banks have to give him some money to get into debt. Of course, people in that situation want to have negative interest rate because guess what? Just six months ago, a year ago, I can't remember the top of my head, I read into one of the top articles in one of the biggest newspapers. can't remember. I think it was in New York uh New York, I uh, forgot the name, but basically he said that one of the Trump buildings that has so much debt that no other banker in the world would lend to him, okay? No other banker because he's so leveraged, no banker. And so what he did is he got the prince of Saudi Arabia, one of the elite guys in Saudi Arabia, to come lease the fucking property for 99 years so Trump could make the minimum payments. Right? So Trump can make the minimum payments and put some money in his pocket. Right. So this is the situation we're living in that the people are getting wealthy, not because they do they are performers, not because they're creative, not because they have a better gadget, because they're able to get more freshly printed money at ultra low or negative interest rates, where the average working class they cannot get that same interest rate for example the average working class may go to one of these payday loans do you know how much they charge for interest do you know how much they charge for interest guys at, at one of those payday loan or title car loans or whatever like 300 percent, right some are triple digits so the further you are from the printing press the federal reserve printing press which is the working class you, you gotta have to worry about your fico score you gotta worry about all this different jumble mumble to be able to get a loan, and if you get a loan, you're not going to be paying a good interest rate like the guys are close to the printing press. Like I, I brought to you guys, right? All these corporations, they're able to get the money at 0% interest rate without all these FICO scores. And guess what? The more debt they get, the more access they have. Now, when, the, when they go get a new loan, the bankers are going to say, Okay, you have this much debt. Let's use that as a collateral for your new debt. And then guess what? They use that to buy more assets. And then even though all these things are leveraged out to the to the moon, they keep using those assets to get more loans and more loans. And therefore, they're rich, not because they're truly are rich, not because they have a creative idea or they were hardworking or they were efficient. They're just rich because they're just getting the money. Now, that happens to so many different individuals and industries. So I'm not picking on Trump or anyone in general, but that's that's the reality of it. Today in America, if you're totally in debt, then you could be wealthy. <laughs> Listen to what I just said, dude. That's the fucking the funniest thing, right? If you're totally in debt. Now, I'm not talking about debt because you bought some Snickers, right? Or, or some washer and dryer or some TV. No, I'm talking about if you got into debt and started buying assets or start starting businesses, you could be in debt, right? And then you will be wealthy. I mean, you'll have all the wealthy stuff. You have a car, you have a house, you have jets, you have all this shit. But you didn't pay for it, dude. You didn't pay for it. You just got into debt with it. And today, that's the society we live in. That's why you see a guy driving a car next to you. He hasn't paid for that car. He hasn't paid for his college education. He hasn't paid for his fucking home, dude. He more than likely paid his vacation on his credit card. And all the way, so that's the that's the civilians and the corporations are grown like GMC. Growing, growing, growing. But they got to borrow to make payroll. 
dude, how are you in business and you have 50 locations, you, you're an international company, and, and everywhere you go, you see a GMC car. But how are they so indebted? See, how is that possible? How can you have success when you're in negative? Right? I mean, that's the society we live in. We, li we live in a society of reciprocal and it's total backwards. So to have financial freedom in my book is you owe zero debt, right? So here's zero, here's negative, and here's positive. If people think by them going negative, right, and they have millions of dollars in assets, they're truly financially free. No, my man, no, my man, the bankers own you. I know in America you can have all this stuff, and we see everyone flashing it, right? You have all this stuff, but it's all debt. And then you get able to get more. Now, let, let, I know some people personally that have multi-million dollar business. Now, I'm not going to one or two, you know, more, I mean, they have hundreds of people working in one location. Other looks at hundreds of people working, right? You know, and they were refugees to America, right? So I know people like that that have got into debt and keep getting into debt. And the more they get into debt, the more their operation grows. The more trucks they have, the more manpower they have, they go from $200,000 $200, homes to $500,000 homes to million dollar homes. Their businesses grow, they, they push bigger cars, which they don't own, and the businesses, they it's in their name, but the bankers own them. Now, they have the most beautiful life ever, right? If you saw them, you would think they're truly rich, but they're in debt is so high. They have all the fancy stuff that you could imagine. You know, when you have a million dollar home in, in, in a state where average home, medium home is 200, then you're doing pretty good, right? Or more. They have everything, multiple locations, so many people working for them, right? And they're doing great. If you solve them, they should be on the, the Entrepreneur Hall of Fame, right? You would think that. And if you ask them, and if you date in their mind, they're rich. But the reality is, dude, the bankers made them, the bankers to take them. And I'm not disrespecting that. If that's your philosophy, that's how you want to get rich, then, then go ahead. I'm not dissing on that. But I'm just trying to bring in no fluff that we live in a world where people that the more debt they get into, assuming they invested in good debt versus bad debt, like shoes or something, they bought real estate and they bought businesses. The more they could get into debt, the more fancier life they can have, which is the total truth of reality, which is, for me, I don't want to have no bank loan. I don't want no bank tell me what to do. I don't want to ask a bank. I don't even give a fuck. Every car I ever bought, I bought a cash, guys. Everything I bought, I bought cash. And the only things that I didn't buy cash was my real estate, which I got the seller to become my private bank and finance me, okay? But even the money that I give to the seller, whatever I put down for closing, it came out of cash money. Didn't put it on a credit card. Didn't put it on a hard money lender. My whole life, guys, I don't even believe in debt. I don't even have a credit card, guys. I don't have no credit cards. Never had credit cards, guys. I don't like the fucking bankers, right? Because I believe that you are more powerful than you realize. And because of school education, indoctrination, they made they fooled everyone. They fooled everyone thinking, hey, you could drive a Mercedes, you could drive a Ferrari, and you're rich, but you're making $1,000 payments, right? Where a guy might drive a Honda and his car's paid for, but we're, we're sitting thinking, oh, this guy's poor, right? Where he could have his house paid for, his car paid for, everything paid for, but he doesn't have the bling bling. Now, in our society's mind, the guy that drives a Ferrari is rich. The guy that has a house in Hollywood with millions of dollars in debt, he's rich. But in reality, he doesn't own any of that. If he doesn't make payments, they'll take his car. He doesn't make payments, they'll take his house. He doesn't make payments, they'll take his business. At any time, the bankers can call the note, accelerate. It doesn't matter. At any time, they could pull back the credit they give you. So we live in a society in America was totally upside down, and we, we, we like been – we think people that are in debt, they're gods because they look like they're rich. We're like, oh shit, man. God. You know what I mean? And it's the most funniest thing. Now, I, I know why Trump wants zero percent interest rate or negative percent interest rate because the guy's a dead business guy. He's, he's dead based. 
He has so much debt. Do you think he wants to pay 5% interest rate on his properties? Or do you want think he wants to pay negative 3% interest rate? Which one do you think he wants? I mean, I don't want to get into debt, but I was going to get into debt. I already get borrowed money at negative interest rate because if I borrow 100, I only got to pay back 70, right? But now who's that hurt? Every working class, everyone that saves money, by us going to a negative interest rate, guys that are totally indebted and have supposedly billions of dollars, but it's all dead money, these guys will have more access to free money while me and you pay for their fucking loans. All right? And then big corporations everywhere, guys. I mean, I just brought to you guys just like a, a week ago, KB Homes. For every one dollar they bring in, they're indebted 4.7 times that. So if they bring a dollar in, I'm going to round up. They're indebted $5. I mean, think about it. You, you bring a dollar in, you're indebted $5. How long can you survive like this? Well, forever because they'll keep giving them money. They, they keep building homes and getting more people indebted. And the CEOs are going to live really good. And they're going to have these big cars and everything. But guess what? It's a, it's a sham, dude. The business is not a legit business because... It can't even survive on its fucking own. I mean, like, if you had a kid and the kid was 50 years old and he still couldn't pay fucking rent, you wouldn't say this person is a very successful individual, right? If, you, if your kid's 40 years old and he's still sitting at home and your mom's doing his laundry and the mom's, you wouldn't say this person is a very successful person. Well, why the fuck would you say a business that brings in a dollar? For every dollar they bring in, they got to pay, five, they're indebted five dollars. Why would they say this is successful? But this company's on the Fortune 500 stock market, and people can buy all day into it. And people are buying all day into this shitty ass business. No disrespect, but dude, you gotta be nuts to invest in the business. For every dollar they bring in, they owe five. I mean, you gotta be fucking nuts, right? I wanna buy a business for every five dollars they bring in, they owe zero. Or better yet, for every five dollars they, they bring in, if I was gonna get into debt, which I don't do debt, but it would be indebted a dollar. Now, that's a better odd, right? They bring $5, they just have indebted $1. So they have four in profits. But this other situation, for every $1 they bring in, they're indebted five times, 4.7 times, guys and gals. I mean, what the fuck, dude? If you were an individual, no bank would give you a loan if you would bring in a dollar and you had a death to income ratio of five times of what you bring in. They would not give you a loan, man. I'm telling you, they would not give you a loan. No money, no motherfucker would give you a loan. All right. No one would give you a loan, dude. I had Fortune 500 companies, they're on stock market right now and their stocks are going up. People are buying into that shit, dude. It's just, I mean, it's just like mind blowing. I mean, we have a system where we have fake on top of fake. We have fake money on top of fake assets like stock market that's, what do you want to call it? Manipulated, artificial. Uh, I, what, what are some words for fake, guys? Manipulation. I mean, whatever you want to call it, right? Whatever you want to call it. But you know what? It surely isn't a free market. It surely is not a market that's not been manipulated. And guess what? The whole system of the Fed being born Amending the Constitution was for the manipulation of the booms and the bust, okay? And that's why you see today, that's why I call it, this is going to be the crash of the century because we're not just having America facing this. We're not just having Germany, Spain, France, the European nations, the Middle East nations. We're not just having one. We're having so many countries that are subscribed to fractional reserve lending what the Fed does, what we do in America. Now, all these other countries are going to get it first. Why? We're going to be the last one that gets it, right? But when we get it, it's going to be out for the count, dude. Why? Because we in America live really lavishly. We have everything, but we don't own shit, right? We don't own it. We ain't pay for it, dude. Let's be real. Let's be real, dude. Let's be real. Most, most people on here don't have their cars paid for. Most people on here got shitload of credit cards. Let's be real, all right? And I don't mean no disrespect to you, but this is the society we live in. If we don't take responsibility, we can never change, right? So the first thing is to admit we got a problem, right? We live in a society where it's all fake, dude. Everyone's in debt, and people are bound down to people that are more in debt. And the more in debt they have, the more they could have debt. 
and the more they can have debt and the more they seem like they're rich but really they ain't producing shit for the economy now we're, we're, we're why did i say that we're the only country that's suffering the least because we have the world reserve currency ladies and gentlemen we have the world reserve currency what that means is this is the u.s dollar every other country is backed on it so let's say this is germany this is india this is rupees everything okay so everything's backed on this so these will fall first because when the wind blows they're going to fall but once america loses the petrodollar if you don't know what the petrodollar is why we're the world reserve currency then you have to do a lot of research you have to do a lot of research okay once america loses world reserve currency then the people are going to be suffering dude they're going to be suffering like they never suffered before and i don't want that that's why i do my channels dude they're going to be suffering this is not going to be the land of opportunity anymore man right other countries like china like recently china right? i don't even been to china i don't know china but i was reading the statistics they had more millionaires than america right so countries that are more flexible are going to become the leading right now the chinese president just came on tv just a couple of days ago preaching about blockchain how it's going to be good and guess what they went up what is our government doing well the sec is sending out letters to ethereum to eos so all these companies trying to inhibit growth right because why didn't they want to inhibit blockchain right because they're not going to get paid man who owns the sec who owns the congress well guess what the corporations that buy them through lobbyists that who owns them and come on guys why do you think we have lobbyists man why do lobbyists get congress people millions of dollars come on you you don't think they're, they're doing anything for them if i just came to you and you don't know me i give you ten thousand dollars you think you'll do something for me right what if, what if i told you if i give you 10 grand would you wash my car you probably would right you probably would dude and to think that we have billions of dollars being invested in lobbyists buying congressmen and congresswomen con man right buying them to make laws in favor of the corporations the bankers the pharmaceutical companies but not the middle class not the working class and why do i say that well look at pensions guys look at pensions you have pensions all over america they call it unfunded liabilities they pensions are called unfunded liabilities right <laughs> people work they put the money into it but the establishment used the money to gamble with it on the stock market, pay the hitch, uh, the investment firms and the fund managers, all the money for them to get a better return on something that's fake, right? So why do you think GE just put a freeze on his past workers' pension? No money, man, no money. GE, one of the biggest company, man. Why? Okay. What do you think is happening to all over America to firefighters and teachers? Man, their pensions are in jeopardy. Now, today it doesn't look like it, but once, not financial advice, when the sucker melts, well, they're going to lose a lot. That's why we're gonna, I, I'm saying we're going to have a the class of the century coming here now or very, very soon because it's not only America. There's so many different people and we have just shady systems dude we have systems where they print money they make everyone's mom and dad work for that shit. they're printing it they have systems where they print money and they give it to their the closest people to them that buy them out right they do favors for them but where if you're a middle class if you're a working class you got to go to payday loan and pay 300 percent interest rate right 150 percent triple digit interest rate and, and i and i can show you an article where they're showing that these not traditional bankers are charging three digit interest rates guys oh, i see one for 135 percent so up to 300 percent, guys right so it's gonna get ugly dude it's gonna get ugly now this is not doom to doom this is not a doom story there's a great opportunity to be made you know the bankers are surely gonna make a whole fucking lot of money right the bankers are, took people's money they risked it and now they're gonna get bailed out well, they're already getting bailed out. We just you just don't know about it. All right. It's called the repo. They're giving 120 billion dollars a day. First it was 60 billion, now it's 120 billion. They're gonna spend days and days, guys. Okay. So the big corporations are gonna get bailed out. They're too big to fail. 
well, what about the working class? What about the middle class? Do you know the middle class is shrinking? Do you know that most people have to get into fucking debt, man, just to make ends meet, dude? And I'll do, and I'll do a video about it. It's just you can see the statistics. These are not my statistics. This is the Fed's statistics, guys. Now, just recently, the Fed says they're okay with two percent interest inflation, right? We don't care. We could go even higher, but really, it's not two percent. It's been a lot more than two percent. And guys, what do you think two percent does? What do you think one percent does in three hundred sixty days? Well, that is, whoo. What do you think it does in two years, three years? It's just a constant price increase to the moon, dude. It's a constant price increase to the moon, and it's never going to come down. That's why I vote with my money in Bitcoin because we don't have to live in a society where it's always inflation. We can live in a society where the price stays the same. We don't have to live in a society where it's all about growth. It's all about paying the stockholders. We can live in a society where they make a good gadget, and this gadget lasts for ten years, dude. We don't have to come up with a gadget where we have to throw away ninety percent of the stuff because ten percent is outdated. We can come up with better gadgets, better cars. We don't have to come up with cars that break down at a hundred thousand miles. We can come up with cars that go five million, one million. Why don't we do that? We don't have to go with new fucking laptops that get extinct every year or two. Yes, parts of the processor may become extinct but shouldn't it be just pull out replaceable why do we have to kill the environment because apple wants to make more money why do we have to kill the environment because ford wants to make more money why do we have to kill the environment and kill you right kill your fucking kids they're killing you right now because you got to work all the time they're killing you through in inflation they're killing you to not spending time with your kids or being your fucking dreams or doing a job you don't want to do right they're killing you through that right so no one's putting this slave chain on you. Majority of people just volunteer. Here, I want this car. Put it on me. I can't afford it. I don't have a great idea. I haven't worked hard for it. I don't have it. I haven't come up with a way to generate more income. But just put it on me. Put the chain on me. I'll just sign away. Sign away. And guess what? You don't have to make your first payment to three months from now, guys. <laughs> That's the craziest thing, dude. So we are living in a fucked up economic situation where corporations are making money big corporations they make money in a good time and if it's a bad time we bail them out and, and we give them our tax dollars bankers getting to own everything every time there's a economic recessions the bankers scoop up so much assets they just scoop it up dude like the last crash how many middle class people like I know because I worked in the industry. I bought homes for motivated sellers. Do you know I saw doctors, attorneys, teachers, nurses, all kinds of people, dude. Some of them were deadbeats, but that was just a small percentage. Majority, I would say 80% were good working people, right? They didn't know what an arm was, they didn't know what an adjustable mortgage is. They don't they didn't understand all that shit. Like most people don't understand what derivatives are. I don't understand it. Some of the PhD doesn't understand it, guys, and that's what it is. The economics, these bankers, they come with all these funny complex to fool you, to fool society because you cannot understand it, all right? They're like, oh, let somebody else worry about it. I'll delegate it to a financial advisor and let them take care of my money. Dude, you, that got to be the dumbest thing ever, dude. I mean, come on. It's not financial advice. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But in my opinion, to give my fucking money to some guy that's graduated college in a fucking suit that never owned a rental house, never done any fucking business, and think he's going to know what to do with my fucking money, and every time he tells me to do this, he's going to make a percentage off my fucking money, of course he ain't going to know what the fuck to do. Of course he's going to tell me to do all this shit because the more shit I do, the more money he makes, right? It's not like profit sharing where if your stocks went up, then they would get paid. That's a fair way, right? That's how I do profit sharing. When you do deals, I get majority of my money when you do deals versus you pay up front majority of money and then later on, if you don't do deals, that's okay. That's how the university is. That's how college is, guys. You go to college, spend fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. That was like five, 10 years ago for a four-year degree. And then many people become bus, bus boys and they work in a totally this different industry than we got a college in. And they're indebted. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? 
It was a sham. He was a fool. They told him they got to go to college to get him into debt. And guess what kind of debt that was? That's the most toxic debt ever. Now they're in college. Now they're in debt. Now they got to do what the man says to do because they can't they can't go to the kids' football game because they can't take the day off because they have so much debt. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a janitor or if you're a doctor. I was watching. You might want to check this lady out, dude. Dr. Wendy on Google, dude. I mean, on YouTube. Pretty awesome lady, dude. And she talks about the bad side of being a doctor, the stuff no one talks about. The lady says she has $400,000 in debt, dude, just to get her medical degree, guys. That doesn't even include undergrad. So do you see why when, when you go to your doctor and they're indebted 400000 600000 do you see why they just treat you like a number, like next, next, next? They don't really give a fuck about you because they can't give a fuck about you. They have so much debt on their back. You couldn't even understand. That's $400,000. Doesn't even include car. Doesn't include furniture. Doesn't include a house. Just school. Do you see why... You may go to a doctor and they upsell you. In her, in her videos, she talks about how she can upsell and make more money. And that's why I love the lady because she's no fluff. She tells you the other side of being a doctor, right? And so the, the point I'm trying to make is it doesn't matter if you're a doctor, if, if you're a janitor. Majority of people, they're subscribed to central bankers, funny money, fake money, get you in debt for the rest of your life money, right? Make you a servant for the rest of your life money. They have a lot of stress, dude. They can't make it. Right. So it doesn't matter if they're a doctor, they're a chiropractor, they're a dentist, they're a personal trainer, they're whatever. Most people go to their fucking job, hate the fuck they do. They just do it because of their money and they're just sucked into what's called the rat race. It doesn't matter. Now, this doctor, Wendy, thanks for the information, Wendy, if you're watching this. She was making one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year. She just graduated. She's making one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year. But she's smart. She's one of the smart doctors, dude, because she's living in a small one-bedroom apartment. She is not driving a fancy car because she realizes that, hey, guess what? She's an immigrant, dude. That's why she's smart, right? She's an immigrant. Her parents came here to, to America as immigrants, and guess what? First-generation American. She's not making $180,000 a year going buying a fancy car. She's trying to get that debt off because she realizes, dude, that, damn, that's a lot of money, dude. And I highly recommend it. Check it out. Dr. Wendy on YouTube, she talks about the bad sides, the, the shit that you don't hear about being a doctor. you pretty inside of information because the next time you go to your doctor and they try to prescribe you an upsell, you got to ask yourself, this, this is really going to benefit me or because the doctor has so much debt. And by me, by them prescribing this procedure, they're going to make five, 10 grand because that's what they make by giving you some shit you don't need. Let me give you an example. My sister was having stomach problems, right? So she went to the doctor. They want to spend thousands of dollars, do all this research, right? Um, and by me talking to her just a few minutes, I figured out that what the problem was. I'm not a doctor, but I did go to undergrad and for medical when I was going to go become a doctor. And I realized I don't want the debt. I just prefer to be an entrepreneur. I talked to her and I realized that she was taking protein and it was upsetting her valve. And by her taking things like, wheatgrass will neutralize it, right? Or eliminating the protein drink from, from her diet because it was really upsetting her stomach, right? Well, guess what? She started taking the supplements, boom, the problem gone away. Where traditional path she was gonna go to, she would have to spend thousands of dollars. She would have to do all kind, take all kinds of chemical drugs. She had to do all this crazy shit and didn't even know what the hell the problem was. Where by her taking that little supplement, relieved the acid because she's taking protein drink. And I told her, don't take the protein drink. And I looked at the protein drink to make sure that it's not test you've made. And it wasn't. It was all natural stuff like, you know, um, peas and a bunch of fruits that are nat natural. And I told her, look, you don't need to take the protein drink, dude. It doesn't go with your stomach. And the reason it probably doesn't go with her stomach is because for many years, she's been abusing her body by taking, drinking Coca-Cola, eating chips, all this nasty stuff that's fucked up her valve in her stomach. So acids are coming up. And I told her, look, you probably don't want to take this amino acid protein. Look at amino acids, acid in your stomach. You're probably better off just eating the food, eating, eating that peas, eating that puppet seeds, eating those beets, eating and because all that stuff was inside of that. I was like, see, this is the society we live in. We we rather just take a shake versus eating the fruit, dude. Eat that fucking beet. Eat that fucking apple. Eat that 
all those stuff that you that are in that protein shake, why don't you just eat it? You don't have to worry about your stomach hurting. It's just like, no, I want the convenient. I just like, you know, so I didn't say anything to her because, you know, I told a person once, I don't want to listen. They don't want to listen. But if I was her, I would stop taking the protein and just eat the food that I need, you know, because trust me, and she's taking a really good protein, right? Because it's all organic with natural stuff. Now, if you look at 90% of proteins out there, they have nothing but test tube made shit. They have test tube made cancer made sugars, all kinds. Things you can't even pronounce. Don't even know what the fuck they are. Now, if you can't pronounce it, you don't know what the fuck it is. Do you think your stomach knows what it is? Well, let me say it again, dude. If it's some mono, blah, 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 and you don't know what the fuck it is, your body probably doesn't know what the fuck it is either. But if it says ingredient, apple, powder right and you know what apple is right so simply put corporations don't give a fuck about the individual they just want to make profits right today we live in a society where my sister has to educate herself she can't trust that doctor say which option should i have because the doctor has four hundred thousand dollars in debt the doctor has to make their payments and that's the school that's not even undergrad that's not even the car and majority of doctors will not want to drive a nice car they want to drive an sl they want to drive a Ferrari, right well they have 400 and that put 200 see that's what becomes everyone becomes a number and you know guys what if you look at the death rate in america it's not terrorists i'm sorry to tell you that right the death rate in america is from heart attacks Diabetes, these are all food ingested. The top three causes of death in America, right? Has nothing to do with terrorists, boogeyman in caves, the Chinese, the reds, the blues, none of that stuff. Has to do with food, meat, dairy. It has to do with drug kills by pharmaceutical companies, by doctor malpractice. And auto, guys, auto kills more people in America than many of the wars we fought in America, guys. You know, you, you know, your car, the thing you drive every day, it kills people, dude. It's one of the most dangerous things ever. Okay. I am sure that you've probably been in a wreck. If you're 30 years old, you've probably been into multiple wrecks, right? There are people that are driving today, they'll die. Okay. But you don't see laws and regulations to stop that, right? Because everyone gets paid, dude. Insurance company gets paid. Manufacturers get paid car dealers get paid car dealerships get paid congress gets get paid big brother gets their taxes registration i mean dude everyone gets paid besides the people that die right besides, and besides people getting in debt <laughs> like thousands of dollars they can't even afford dude <laughs> that's the funniest thing man let me leave some of the comments guys dean what's up man Time to be your dreams. That's right, guys. Hey, two things. Thanks, Dean. Start where you stand. Start where you stand. That means you're already powerful enough. Everything is inside you, dude. Start where you stand. You don't need a college degree. You don't need a financial blah, 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 PhD. You don't need none of this shit, dude. You can be your dreams right now the way you are. Now, if you want to be a doctor, you probably need to go to school. But if you want to be an entrepreneur, you can be your dreams. You don't need a FICO school. You don't need shit, dude. All right? Start where you stand. The next thing is be your dreams, dude. You live fucking once. You want to work for the fucking man? You want to work for a job you fucking hate? Even if you're a fucking doctor. I know attorneys that hate their fucking job. They just do it because they have so much debt. They work 90 hours. Right? Do what you love, dude. Don't be like me. I worked 15 years of my life out of college starting businesses like my moving company. I hated that shit. I, I was making millions. I was happy, though. I thought I was happy. But I didn't have joy. And so the more I consume the more I felt happy. And if I wasn't consuming, then, you know, if I, what is consumption? Not because I bought a bunch of clothes. No, starting a new business, starting a new business. Instead of making a million, I'm trying to do two million. After two million, do five million, five million. Just always go, 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 right? What, what did that give me? Nothing, depression and sadness, right? And so I realized that, what the fuck? I'm already rich, right? I'll, I live in America, dude. I'm alive. I got both my legs and arms, dude. I got everything. I got food to eat. I got food to pay rent. I got food to put in my car. I got whatever, right? I'm rich. I'm rich. Right? And we live in a world that everybody, the TV, the marketing, the teachers, they make you feel like 
you're deficient. You're lacking something. You don't have enough credit score. You you, you don't have a A. You don't have 4.0. You don't have you know, they're always making you like you're lacking something. Like you gotta wait before you can go and start where you stand and be your dream says, dude, start now, be your fucking dreams. It is risky, yes, I agree. It's hard work, yes. But so is being a fucking slave, man. Now a lot of people, if you can get to the level where you slave so much debt where you become rich supposedly but you're so much in debt you don't got nothing but you're a billionaire but but really you're billions in debt uh then yeah it may work for you right it may work for you and you could constantly use the system you know you got to be a crook you got to constantly use the system the debt business to boost your business but yeah you, you could do it but majority of people in america won't, won't be able to and they're going to work the rest of their lives being debt race dead race dude to the bankers Silver, James Ryan says silver, Satishis, C's, and slugs. I like that idea. Uh, Sherman Dan, the banks are making a killing. Dude, the banks are fucking making a killing, guys. They are making a killing. They are charging you monthly fees, statement fees, Visa, MasterCard making killing. I mean, guys, they're making killing, not doing a goddamn thing. Visa, MasterCard don't do a damn thing, and they make so much money, dude, just to be the middleman. Same thing with bankers. Bankers have no money. They're investing with your money that you put into your 401s or you put into your savings or your CDs or money market. <laughs> they're using your money, dude, and they pay you. They're not going to pay you negative interest rate because that's what Trump wants. He wants negative, and I told you why he wants that. He's an indebted business owner. So now if he can get money for free, will the banks pay him? Of course he wants that. But fuck the working class because every working class, they're saving their money. And guess what? <laughs> Savers are losers in this economy, dude. Savers are losers. James Ryan says, that based economy? Absolutely, man. Um, they've been too much funny living in America dream Ponzi scheme. Dude, and guys, and, and here's the thing, man. You, you said it on the top. The more I become awake, the more disgusted that I become, dude, the more disgusted that I become. You know, we have poverty everywhere. Right? We're, we're fucking bombing the shit out of all kinds of innocent people all over the fucking world. Kids, dude. Kids. Right? Not because they're attacking us. We don't know why. But we're just slave into paying taxes, inflation. We're, we're, we're living in a debt-based economy where the more indebted you are if you're buying assets, the richer you become by debtness, not by hard work not by creativity, not by sacrifice. The real things that make an entrepreneur, those things are not respected here in America and many other countries because we're all going dead base. That's why I say we're gonna have a century class of the century because there's so many countries subscribe to central banking and dude, since we're the reserve currency, it's gonna be a crazy ride, crazy ride. But yeah, you're 100% right, brother. Okay, it is a Ponzi scheme from the stock market to the money, I mean, but not financial advice. You do your own research. Should I buy a cheap home at a good rate or live in a Ford Transit for the next 10 years? Um, Cargan Stanley. Hey, that's a very good question. I can't get financial advice, man. I can't tell you what to do, but I highly recommend you do your own research and think for yourself and make a decision. But, dude, I told you what this doctor is doing. She's making $180,000 a year. 180 almost 200 dude as a paycheck and they live in a small one bedroom apartment and they don't have fancy cars and it's the husband and 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 the wife both are doctors dude so you can live the bling bling <laughs> or and be a slave or you can do what you want to do you know guys you know when you're busy when, when you're hustling you're never looking pretty man you're never looking pretty if that makes any sense, man. Uh, is starting the fire fire techniques a safe bet? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Starting the fire techniques a safe bet, my man. Uh, Shun couldn't even pay his Dutch bank. Man, exactly, guys. Man, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Trump Trump owes so much money, guys, that no bank in the world wanted to lend to him. Now listen to this. He got one of the the Saudi. I can't remember. I read that article so long ago. Uh, Prince or one of the loyal to rent out his fucking building that the bank wanted to call known on for 99 years. 
Now, guess what? Saudis get a bunch of missiles and a bunch of merchant of death tools for them. Why Why do they get that? Well, see, somebody robs somebody's back, they, they get weapons. They give them money, they get weapons. So, you know, what about the guy that lost his house in 2006, 2007? What about the millions of people that lost their homes because banks were robo-signing? Banks, banks didn't even own the notes, but they were foreclosing. What happened to that, dude? What did they get? They don't get shit, dude. They don't get shit. Uh, no wonder he wants lower interest rate. As, as, dude, I told you guys, Trump wants negative interest rate because he's a debt-based entrepreneur. He is where he is of debt, right? And everything's leveraged out. And he's living a life of, of best because of debt. And he wants negative interest rates, dude. I mean, anyone that's playing a dead game, they want negative interest rate. Now, anyone that's playing a dead game. Now, the average person doesn't want that. They don't even know what negative interest rate means. But, but if you're highly leveraged, you want to have negative interest rate because the banks will pay you to get into debt. Well, actually, me and you will pay from our savings for these fools to get into debt. I uh, had the same car for 12 years, man. People may think I'm struggling, but I buy silver and gold and cryptos regularly. Then, Ryan, you sound, you sound like the kind of guy I would like to take out to have coffee with, guys. Because even when I was making millions of dollars and I owned three businesses, I was living one-tenth of what I did. The remaining was going to investing, guys. Investing. And guys and girls, really, who gives a fuck what people think, dude? You got to be a slave if you think that what people think. And trust me, I came from, from a family that my mom and dad always preached about, what, do, what about this person? What are they going to think about you? What are they going to think about you? And I lived into that all my life. I had to go, go homeless for the second time to realize that I don't give a fuck what this guy thinks about me, dude. I'm not living for this guy. I'm going to die. <laughs> and I want to die before I die, right? So I already died. I'm living a new life. I don't give a fuck what this guy thinks about me, dude. Fuck him, right? He ain't paying my bills, and I'm not paying his bills. I wish him the very, very best. I wish him the best life, but I don't care. You can take whatever fuck he wants, right? So do I want to have an old car and buy cryptos and gold and silver, or do I want to have $100,000 cars and make monthly payments, $2,000 a month on a Ferrari? Well, I, I go with Ryan all day, every day, dude. When I was making millions and I wasn't awake, I still knew to live below my means. And now that I am awake, there's no way in hell I'm going to pay some stupid fucking car company to give me a fucking Ferrari when it's a piece of shit, has liability problems, or give me a Mercedes. It breaks down, dude. A Mercedes is not more reliable than a Honda or a Toyota. I own both. And I can tell you, Mercedes, man, I, I bought a $100,000 car. Shit ain't reliable, dude. Shit ain't reliable, okay? It's, it's been in the shop more than I can imagine, okay? So when I when I bought myself a $20,000 bike, BMW, shit wasn't reliable. When I bought myself a Harley, that shit was not reliable, dude. Reliable, okay? It was in the shop all the fucking time. Even though it was brand spanking new and I paid cash for it, it was in the shop. So do I rather have fake stuff or do I want to have freedom? What I want to have is what I have now. I could decide who I want to work with. Guys, a lot of people come to profit sharing. We kick them the fuck out. They're 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 pain in the ass customers. We don't want no pain in the ass customers. Life is too short. There's no way in hell I'm gonna deal with some motherfucker that has negative energy and they're just hating life. No, dude, fuck you and your money. And I hope everyone does the same thing because you gotta know what you want in life, right? I know what I want. I know who I can help. Only people are like Ryan that know what sacrifice is. Not some little bitch that, you know, indebted his whole life, has three divorces, so many kids, abandoned the kids. Like, no one wants that, man, all negative. No, no, we don't want customers like that, dude. We don't, we don't care about your money, right? I make my own money. No one cares. And that's the same philosophy with doing what I want. And I encourage everyone to do what you want. Don't, if you hate a fucking job, I wouldn't work there. If I hate my fucking boss, I wouldn't kiss his ass. And that's why I never work for anyone because I could never do that. I could never sell my soul for some fake money. I sold my soul one time to do a business that I didn't want to make more and more money, right? I'm never going to do that, dude. Never, ever. Money is fake, dude. I'm going to die. And I've already died, dude, because I give all my stuff up. I don't need material things. I wear the same exact. Guys, you see the same shirt? I was wearing it yesterday. 
and the day before. <laughs> I mean, who cares, dude? Right? I got nice clothes. These are expensive. They last for a long time. But I got four. I'm happy with four. I don't need a wardrobe full of shit. I don't need a wardrobe full of shit. I read to buy cryptos. And Ryan, guys, I bought an EV car, right? I bought an EV car, and every week, instead of putting money into gas, I, I don't pay no gas. I drive for free. I take the money, and I buy cryptos with it. Every week, I buy cryptos with it, dude, right? So good job, Ryan. I, I like you, man. Uh, my man says, what kind of car do you have, Ryan? Uh, he says, 2002 Miss Lancer. Very good, dude. Yeah, King, Dr. Wendy, man. If you Google her on YouTube, she's like, I just watched her last night. I was trying to put my kids to sleep. Um, we're, we're having a baby. We're at the hospital. So I was watching her because her YouTube said, hi, I became a doctor and I have $400,000 in debt. And I was like, holy shit, let me listen to this. And, you know, and I, and I like what she said. And, and maybe I'll reach out to her and see if she wants to come to our channel because, dude, it's cool to meet people that know Fluffy, right? Like, I have other family members. They're doctors. They're like, yeah, man, everything's great. You know, I'm, I make 7000 bucks a week. But they're not telling you the other side of the shit, dude. Like, hey, I'm indebted up the ass. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Ryan, Game Changers, Netflix. Yeah, man, I, I don't even have Netflix. I don't have a TV, guys and gals. I don't have a TV. TV brainwashes you, dude. The advertise brainwash you and your kids guys it's just crazy it's just crazy how much to brainwash you guys okay there was a voyage on the game changer all right let's see if we have any other comments someone asked about is the profit sharing still 76 bucks yes it is guys just limited amount of seats when the price changes, when the seats sell out, the price is going up. So if you're interested in flipping houses, highly recommend joining. There's no sales pitch. Everything's put on the website, guys. I disclose all of it. Please read it. Don't join if you're fucking negative and you're bitchy, right? If, if you're a pain in the ass customer, don't join, dude. We're not going to take your money. We'll kick you out, okay? But if you're hungry, you like that guy, Ryan. He knows how to sacrifice. You like that? You want to be your dreams? I'm your guy, dude. I'll help you get there as long as you put the foot action in there, guys. Make sure you read the terms and conditions there are certain type of tools you got to buy we spent weeks putting all this business on the website so in the if you read it you know the whole way the whole system works so please take the time to read it because our sales page if you want to call it that is like 34 pages because we put all the terms and conditions up front so there's nothing misleading or anything like that because we want to be a low model we want to lead by action so we put everything up there. Please take time to read it. If you don't like it, don't join. And if you like it, join. We're not going to get mad if you don't join, dude. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. It's getting late. Uh, have a great night. Click the like button. Share this message. Much love, guys.